Legend has it that Tangaroa, god of the sea, once turned himself into an enormous glowing sea turtle in an attempt to trick Tangiyo, the conqueror of the Pacific, into an ambush on the island of Rarotonga. Caught by surprise, Tangiyo and his intruders could not escape, as the people of Rarotonga waited patiently to throw coconuts, rocks and spears from the safety of the tall trees. After the great win, Tangiyo and his army were no more. The Grand Chief of Rarotonga returned a bow with the Grand Turtle as a sign of respect for protection. Before the turtle left, more crawled above to lay eggs. Look after my children and they shall do the same. And as quick as he came, Tangaroa was gone. Since then, the world has evolved to a point where our people have become more disconnected with nature and wildlife. Each year we experience mass losses in sea turtle populations due to pollution, climate change and overfishing. They used to save us. Now who will save them? We introduced our turtle monitoring program to photograph the green turtles doing some turtle surveys. Got a calculation of 14 turtles I saw. Turtles. Turtle. 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 Turtles. 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 We are currently at the Avavaro Passage on the south side of Rarotonga Cook Islands to photograph the green turtles that live here in the Avavaro Passage. Today we'll be photographing the left side of the turtle's face so that we can use their unique facial skewts to identify each individual turtle. I have a slate here so that I can document how many turtles I find as we'll be doing a population survey while we're in the passage. individual identification system as you can see up there um, and you go over here to upload a file and this takes you to our hard drive so we will use one front of the new turtles so this is one of the new ones that just got released and what you do is you want to highlight the face so these are the facial scutes. For every turtle it's different. So those are your three main points, like your grid lines, and then you're just gonna go ahead and highlight this whole area. And then it shows different photos of turtles that we've captured already. And you can see some of them already have their names there, but we already know that this is a new turtle. So we go visual comparison, with the visual comparison, if it's an older turtle, you just you can use it to look at the scutes. So this is just to help you identify if it's the same. But clearly it's a different turtle because it's a brand new one from Manihiki. On our list so far, the last documented turtle was number 39. That was number 39. So this one would be number 40. Do 
Ipukarea Society collaborated with Kōrero Te Oro to deliver two senior holiday programs for 2023. We introduced our turtle monitoring program and engaged the students in citizen science. We headed out into the field in the Avavaro Passage where majority of the green turtles reside here on Rarotonga. So we're here at the Avavaro Passage, one of the popular turtle sites uh, here on Rarotonga doing some turtle surveys with our youth student from our outer island communities to learn the safeties of our ocean as well as uh, the surveys involved uh, in, in tracking our turtles as well as doing population surveys is what we're getting up to today. We are right enough from aren't you? Hi, my name is Tria. I'm from Achu. Kiarana, my name is Abdurake. My name is Travel Matamariki, and I'm from Waitutaki. My name is Daino Toy, and I'm from Waitutaki. Clementa Mokabitsu from Hawaii. I'm Eskia. I'm from the island of Achu. My name is Rainy. I'm from Rarotonga. My name is Maru, from Mogi. My name is Rumo. I'm from Samoa. What was your time in the water? It was actually a good experience. It was good. I had fun. It was amazing. We were taking a photo. Photos Photo. of turtles, the left side to see their uh, some kind of like the fingerprints. <laughs> that way, if they find another turtle somewhere else, they can see that that turtle is still in the lagoon. And documenting everything with the I saw. So many turtles, stingrays, different type of fishes, stingrays. Oh, and this big ass turtle. A uh, green turtle and one black beauty. So here's the turtles, stingrays. I got a calculation of 14 turtles I saw. Are there heaps of turtles left in the Cook Islands? No. Why is that? Our plastic reaching the ocean. Pursing fishing. Ah. <laughs> uh, they're getting caught in our nets. Coral bleaching. Plastic bags in the water and this thing. Turtles take their jellyfishes, so they eat them and then they start choking. Yeah, it was awesome just to hang out with the kids and um, well, yeah, just show them the yeah. turtles and what they're doing to survey the turtles. Yeah, and it's cool for us to see that there's like a huge generation of kids coming through that are connected to this. Yeah. Um, that's my most memorable moment of today is just hanging out with the kids and showing them the love them about the love and just showing them um, yeah how important it is to take care of what we have Kiorana, we are here today at the CITC Santa Parade as turtles um, this is a part of our turtle monitoring program through citizen science. So we've designed our truck to look like a turtle and as we're walking we will be sending the message to protect our turtles and also if there are any pictures out there in the Cook Islands in the Pacific of the left side of the turtles faces, this will help with monitoring their movement through our waters and to determine whether they're residential or migratory turtles but pretty much we're just sending a message of protection and awareness raising and we're all girls <laughs> So good to see so many faces here today. My name is Alana, I'm here with Te Epukaria Society. We are a local environmental NGO that works in so many different spaces that include our environment and conservation. Um, I'm basically here just to talk about one of our turtle monitoring projects that we are currently doing. And this is a citizen science program, which basically means everyone here can be involved and help contribute to science and data. So if you're ever out there and you've got a photo of turtles, particularly the left side of their face, send it through to us. We upload it to a database and it helps track that individual turtle uh, movement through time. 
So we've been running this program for about a year now and we've had some really good data come through. We've been able to find that one turtle has actually moved between Avavaroa to Rutaki and Tupapa in the space of two years. So that one's just hanging around, a residential turtle, um, but that's what data like these photos can do to help um, track individual turtles' movements. So today we are gonna get a photo of our three turtles' left side of their face. It will be interesting to see if their facial scutes change with time because they are babies and whether they get more facial scute patterns. Um, but yeah, that's part of our program. Please, if you ever get any photos, send them through to the Epicardia Society, our um, social media pages, Instagram or Facebook, and you can help contribute to science and data. Current threats that we would have to our turtles uh, here in the Cook Islands is that of litter and pollution. Uh, it's always best to keep our rubbish, our plastics in particular, off the beach so it doesn't make its way into the ocean. Um, plastics like this can be misinterpreted for food, uh, such as jellyfish, which our turtles also um, eat. Other threats include the likes of boat traffic um, within our passages. So just making sure that um, our boats are traveling at a, a slow speed so they're able to see any signs of turtles that may be bobbing up for air. Um, and really slowing down so that we can avoid um, a collision with our turtles coming up for air. Uh, another tip could be to add prop guards um, for the propellers of these boats to again um, avoid the chance of turtles um, making contact with uh, our propellers of the boats. There's also um, the risk of fishing nets that have been unattended and left out in our lagoons. I would probably say this is one of our most um, key threats to our turtles, um, especially since we're seeing lots of turtles and signs of turtles around our lagoon in Titikavaka ways. So making sure that these fishing nets are not left unattended uh, is one way to reduce the chance of turtles um, drowning in uh, these fishing nets. In addition to our turtle monitoring program, our new stocks of bottles, although pretty, also have a QR code at the back, which takes you to our website on tips on how to get involved with the citizen science.